Hi everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Terry from Tidbits and Tinkerings and today we are going to be putting together this little treat box that I designed in Cricut Design Space. I will put a screenshot up in the video so you can see what this file looks like when you bring it into Design Space. I've already got all of my pieces cut out. Um, for the box itself, I decided to use 110 pound cardstock. Uh, I typically would have used the craft board from Cricut, but they did not have that in gray, and I did have the gray 110 pound on hand, so I just went ahead with that. If you use a thicker material, you probably will have to deepen your score lines. I used my scoreboard and went over mine again. Um, I'm using this little metallic hearts for the panels on the box. And I have my little piece of acetate already cut that's going to go behind our window. And for the little ribbon, I went ahead and I've chalked around the edges of this and the bottom layer with the blending chalks from Inka Dinka Do. And I'm going to raise the little banner up with some foam squares. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> and like I said, I've already went ahead and deepened my score lines and I'm hoping I did it well enough that I'm not gonna have an issue folding this thicker paper. And you're just gonna fold along all the lines. And you will want to take a bone folder and make sure you get those lines pretty crisp. Especially when doing a box, that's important so that it kind of holds everything together nice and square. And if I go off camera, I apologize. I'm trying a new setup today and I'm not sure how well it's gonna work out. This is a simple project. I just, um, a lot of beginners have issues putting together the three dimensional projects. So I wanted to go ahead and just do this. two folds here. And what I do when I'm putting together a box, if it has a window, I put my acetate on before I start <clears throat> putting the box itself together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. And I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I love this stuff. The only thing is I am about out. And it cannot be shipped in freezing temperatures. So I'm trying to go really light on it so I don't run out before I can have some more shipped to me. And then you're just gonna place that on the inside of your box and cover your window. And there we have our window and now you just you're just gonna put your box together and <clears throat> this is fairly straightforward um, you want to put your tabs to the inside and it's optional if you want to um, permanently adhere your bottom which I may eventually I might go back and do because I'm gonna put candy in this um, but first, what we want to do here is put some adhesive on the inside of this tab here. If you're holding your box this way, you want your adhesive to go on the inside of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and 
do that. And I go fairly heavy on the adhesives on my boxes because I don't want them falling apart on me. <clears throat> and then this is going to go to the inside of this one here. And you'll just line it up and then just stick your fingers in there and kind of hold it in place until that glue sets up. And this art glitter glue sets up pretty quick. So, all right. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and just take it inside there and rub it down where I couldn't reach. And then you just fold in your bottom and your top. And I made this um, fit pretty snug, so even with a little bit of weight, that should still stay shut. All right, and then there's our top. And let's see, I've got something. Oh, I must not have folded this tab. Whoops. All right. <clears throat> I'm all out of camera. That's what I usually do. That's why I was trying to go for a different setup here. All right, well. There's the basis of our box. We have it put together. Like I said, this is a simple project. Now I'm just going to go ahead and glue my panels on. This is optional. You don't have to use panels, but this is going to be a little Valentine box for my husband. So I'm going to dress it up. And then this should line right up over this heart. And of course, I'm all crooked on here. That's why I like to use a liquid adhesive when I'm trying to put stuff together like this because I have a hard time lining stuff up. All right, there's the front. And then I'm not gonna bore you doing the sides or the, the back, I also made one to go on the back, but you have your two side pieces and the top. And I'm gonna fast forward through that while I put those pieces on. All right, there's all our panels. And the last step is going to be to put your little banner together. All right, and then I'm gonna just use two little foam squares. Actually, I'll probably use three. Just right on the back of this to raise it up off of that window. And then just place that on here. I made this um, a little long to stick off the edges just a little bit. All right, and there we have it, our completed box. 
And like I said, it goes together really quick, but is a really cute presentation for like some chocolates or some candies. And my husband is a Reese's peanut butter freak, so I'm gonna fill his up with some little heart-shaped Reese's peanut butter cups. And that is it. Um, if there are any questions, just leave a comment. There will be a link to this file down in the description below. You'll need to click the little arrow that says show more to get to that. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.